I'm just getting ready for the day and Jazz and I are actually heading off to Alba Thermal Springs. So I thought I would take us there as a little bit of a treat because he's definitely been doing so much supporting me with my business and getting everything off the ground this year. And I don't know, I just feel like I kind of want to be contributing in a bit of a different way and like organizing a nice date for us. So that's the plan for today. And I've actually been there once before. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen a bit of a reel when my mum was here the other week for Mother's Day. So I took her down and we did a little bit of a Mother's Day bathing experience. It's super nice there. It's like the Peninsula Hot Springs, which is the original one, is across the road. So if you're from Melbourne, you might know because you would have been down there. And it's definitely the more like nature affordable option. And then Alba is literally directly across the road and it's the, the like new bougie kind of version. But I just really like the architecture there and I thought it would be nice to show him. But it's like $110 per person versus I think 60. So it's like a massive difference, but midweek, any weekday is only $80. So that's why I thought, you know what, let's go on a weekday, save the money and still get to have like that different experience of trying the new place. So that's the plan for today. And actually another thing is I am doing form, which is Sammy Clark's app. So I don't know if any of you follow her here on YouTube, but I did a lot of her workouts during lockdown and they are like hard, like unless you're, <laughs> like really, really fit. They're just hard, like the hard exercises, really dynamic movements. It's like weights, Pilates, whatever, like all sorts of stuff. And I really wanted to just try the 14 day reset. So I've downloaded the app and I actually am thinking I might just kind of start alternating body fit with form because I'm not exactly getting the results I want at body fit. And I don't exactly get them when I just do Pilates or like self training. So I'm thinking if I just kind of keep alternating between the two, that will be a better process for me. So that's what I'm going to be trying. I think not next week, but maybe the week after I'll put my membership on hold for like two weeks and then I'm going to do the 14 day reset. So it's got a full meal plan, which I really like. And there was a lot of good, um, gluten free and dairy free kind of options in there. If you're someone with like food intolerances. So I found that quite good. So I've been trying a few of the meals this week just to make sure I wanted to like keep the app before paying the annual fee. But yeah, super into that. So if you want me to do a vlog on it, let me know because I'm thinking to just kind of track the entire two weeks and see what my like little sort of before and after is and how my energy levels are and how I'm feeling. But yes, so I actually wanted to get some weights and I've got a couple of things out on my balcony in like a little storage container from lockdown days and I didn't quite have enough stuff. So I went online because I went down to Rebel Sport and looked at their kettlebells and they were really, really expensive, but they're quite nice. And I found a lady on Facebook marketplace around the corner from the Springs and she had the three kettlebells that I was going to buy and was selling them for literally half price and they're basically brand new. So I'm going to pick those up on the way, which is an absolute bargain and I will show you and take you guys with me. But before that, I've just got to do a little bit of businessy stuff and reshuffling my desk and then Jazz will come over and we can drive down. Okay, so exciting bunch of deliveries. I just got in from Logitech to go with my desk and really just make working from home a little bit easier because there are a couple of things that I'm missing from my setup. And now that I'm here all the time, I just really need to make sure I'm prepped for meetings and things. So something that I actually don't have on my desktop computer is a webcam. And simply put, it is an old monitor and I don't even know if the normal ones ever come with that anyway. So my laptop obviously has a webcam, but when I'm doing my Revit things, it's all on the main computer. So unless I have like PDFs of the floor plans and stuff, I really need to be on that computer when I'm having like Zoom calls and things like that so that I can then communicate, share my screen and be able to move through the models. So I got this one, which is called the Brio 500. It's a high definition webcam and of course in white, so it aesthetically matches the rest of my desk setup. This is it. I just got it out of the box and actually I've just realized my favorite feature of this already. You can have it open or shut on camera. So have a look at this little feature. You can literally turn the camera open or turn it off. And I actually really like that just so I can like rest assured that it is off when I want it to be off and I'm not kind of left in a meeting or if I just need to mute for a second and hold the call, I could also just quickly flick the camera off. So real big fan of that. And it is 
a USB-C connection. So that works perfectly. I'm just gonna hook that up and plug it into my computer. They also sent me these wireless over-ear headphones and this is gonna be a massive game changer for me because that's kind of what stopped me doing the podcast initially. I just kind of had my ear pods or I was just speaking and recording and I could never sort of hear the audio quality back to know what was kind of going on. And I actually just really love over-ear headphones and these look really nice. They're called the Zone Vibe 100 and they're wireless over-ear headphones with immersive audio and noise cancelling microphone so super keen to open these up I actually got to attend the Logitech event the other week which was all a little bit hush hush because they were kind of showing the new products off but this was one of the items and I was so happy to know that I was receiving some because they are really gorgeous headphones. A great feature about these headphones is you can be heard really clearly. It has dual mics with beam forming technology that's designed to suppress background noise so others can hear you speaking. It also has immersive audio with a generous 40 mil speaker driver that delivers deep bass and crisp high notes with low distortion. And that means you can enjoy premium audio for calls and music. And it has really simple controls, which is great because I don't want anything too complicated or difficult to use. I love these. I think they look so cute and they fit me really well, but it is super easy to just adjust them to fit your head properly. I think maybe I kind of look like I'm about to go to the snow. Don't you think they look like little earmuffs? But these are going to be so good. And they also did send me one last thing, which is a headstand walls, headstand set. Um, stand what am i talking about it's a headphone stand and it basically is just so i can literally hook them over it so i'll take this out of the box and show you as well but it just means my desk setup is just going to look so on point i've got the new webcam headphones and i've got somewhere to put them when i'm not using them this is the headphone stand nice and padded so the headphones can have a really good night's sleep while they're sitting on my desk chilling out so it literally just rests them on top like this and there we go so that's all my new desk accessories from Logitech. I'm super thankful to have been sent these and if you want me to revive the podcast let me know because I definitely will but otherwise it just means my entire home working setup is pretty much complete now so I'm really happy with these items. <music> We just got back from the hot springs and it's very dark so just bear with me while I turn some lights on so you can see what I'm doing in here but it was such a relaxing experience as always and I actually think that maybe the mineral springs water potentially helped the burn on my hand a little bit like I definitely just kept it outside and like sitting on the ledge for the most part but I did sort of like dim it in because I'm just like a little bit superstitious about that kind of thing. I'm like, maybe the minerals will just like put some healing power through my bloody sore hand because it's still pretty badly burnt from when I spilled the hot water on it. So not the greatest thing in the whole world, but I am going to show you the weights I got because I'm really happy with them and it was so good to grab them for half price. I left the dumbbells in my car because I literally could not be bothered carrying them up as well because it's kind of late now and Jazz is just headed home, but I've got a 16 kilo one, I've got a 12 kilo and an eight kilo. And as you can see, they're all in pretty good condition, like basically brand new. So it was definitely worth stopping in and picking them up on the way. I'm gonna try out a new recipe for dinner. This is one of the ones from the app I've been using. It's the dairy-free creamy lemon pasta. So I've got all the ingredients out here at the moment. There's cashews, garlic powder, broccolini, a lemon, I've got some red lentil pasta, organic almond milk, nutritional yeast, and I'm not really sure what else I need just yet, but I'm gonna get everything going and then I'll show you what it ends up like. 